Hi folks, Marina Stroud here. I am your product education lead. Thanks for joining us today and letting us be a part of your educational journey. Please take some time to review our previously recorded bootcamp webinars found within your help menu. The bootcamps are organized into beginner and intermediate lessons. Kristen Magents, your product education specialist, will host the beginner level bootcamps typically every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern unless otherwise directed. And I will continue to host the intermediate level bootcamps every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. We want to educate our newbies and those of you that have been with us for some time. If you're new, check out the beginner level webinars and join the intermediate lessons when you feel up to it. Attending live will provide a more interactive one-on-one -on -one platform where we answer your questions on the spot. We also include a live webinar Q&A after each presentation. All right, let's check out today's topics. Today, we will review the various Tradesmith crypto investment strategies found within your Opportunities tab. You can access these strategies or these crazy crypto labs if you have a Crypto Ideas by Tradesmith or a Tradesmith Platinum account. Finding crypto investments can be daunting, especially in today's volatile markets. Given our current bearish crypto market outlook, it's crucial to find well-performing cryptocurrencies in a healthy state. Our back-tested crypto investment strategies may give you an edge in the crypto markets. Based on our algorithms, you can follow healthy crypto assets that are typically trending up. I'll review the criteria behind each of the Crypto Ideas Lab, how you can search for your favorite strategies, and how we rank the best crypto opportunities. We'll look at some statistics behind our crypto strategies so you can make a better informed decision on which strategy to follow. We'll then have some fun with our crypto screener tool or our screener tool. And I'll show you how you can create a simple crypto strategy screener and incorporate it into our pure quant tool to build a diversified and risk balanced crypto portfolio. Before we get started, let's get the disclaimer out of the way, folks. The information we present today and in upcoming tutorials is for educational purposes only. We're not financial advisors and cannot provide individualized advice or recommendations. We are recording today's presentation, so if you miss something, don't worry about it. You'll be able to go back and rewatch it at your convenience. Please try to keep your questions about the topic at hand. I can open the floor to all general questions at the end of the presentation. Great, let's get started. With that, we're gonna head to the website. One moment, please. All right, I am logged into my Tradesmith Finance account. Just as a reminder, you're gonna log into your account via finance.tradesmith.com, no matter which product subscription you hold. Keep in mind, I have access to the full suite of Tradesmith products with my Platinum subscription, so your site may look different than mine. While we're here, let's go ahead and check out that help menu located at the very top of your program site. If you click that button, you can access your educational resources. So your help menu will be tailored according to your subscriptions. I'm gonna point out some uh, key points. You have your customer success information here. There's their contact information. If you click on that folder, you'll see that you can schedule a concierge appointment. There's some other goodies here that you can check out. Below, you can access our education center. If you're brand new to Tradesmith, there's a Getting Started with Tradesmith that you can check out. And our boot camps, which if we click, you can expand. We have them organized under beginner and intermediate lessons. Right at the very top, you'll see a register for upcoming boot camps. You can click that link and you'll see upcoming webinars. So tomorrow, Kristen is gonna be hosting a beginner lesson 
on researching new potential trades. That's our search for ticker feature. You can click that register now link and attend tomorrow's lesson. Okay, let's go ahead and close that up. You can uh, refer to today's presentation script for more details on how to set up a concierge appointment. And we are gonna jump straight to the opportunities tab. So we're going to click on invest at the top navigational header. And the first tab that we see is the opportunities tab. Please feel free to follow along with me. Below, you're going to see the strategies selection box, and you can click anywhere within this selection box to review your available strategy or strategies. Again, your site may look different than mine. I have access to all of the Tradesmith strategies. However, you may not have access to the Ideas Lab or Timing Lab. Today's focus is gonna be on the Crypto Ideas Lab, so I'm just gonna make sure that I have the Crypto Ideas Lab checked. Now, as of today, September 6, 2022, the top ranked crypto ideas lab is Energy Web Token with two matches. So if you look to the right within the strategies column, you'll see a number two link. I can click that number and it shows the matching strategies for Energy Web Token, which are crypto low risk runners and crypto momentum pairing. We're going to review why Energy Web Token is ranked number one in just a moment. I want to ensure that you're familiar with the various opportunities tab features. Let me go ahead and close that. You're going to see several column header uh, tabs. To reveal hidden columns, you can locate this gray horizontal bar at the bottom of your computer screen. Click with your left mouse, hold, and then drag to reveal the additional column headers. Now you're gonna notice that several of these column informational tabs will review NA or display NA as they only pertain to the equities markets. But let's take a look at a few of these columns together. The newsletters, let me grab my little highlighter or my spotlight. The newsletters and strategies tabs, which we just pointed out, may provide links that you can click to reveal available information. For example, the listed number under the newsletters column will tell you how many of your active newsletters match any of these potential opportunities. The top 27 hedge funds and billionaires that we're tracking from their reported SEC 13F filings do not include cryptocurrency, so you will not see a link under the billionaires column. Let's see what other columns here I can point out for you. By the way, in today's presentation script, I've included a description or uh, definitions of each of these related columns but i'll point out a few commonly asked questions here we have the volume column which displays the value for the last trading day so tradesmith pulls intraday crypto price data from our data provider brave new coin we use the daily volume 24 hours based on the latest closed price that we obtain from Brave New Coin at midnight UTC or 7 p.m. Eastern. And where's that latest close column? Right here to the far right. Um, this column right here, okay, represents the crypto's price that we obtained at midnight UTC or 7 p.m. Eastern. And I think those are the commonly asked questions that we get regarding these informational headers. Again, please refer to today's presentation script for more details on these headers. 
The next feature that I want to point out is that filters button that you see to the far right. Let's go ahead and click that together and review the filters. The filters button will allow you to refine your results by exchange, country, and asset type. The country of exchange filter only corresponds here to equities. So there is no need to adjust this. There's also no need to set up or designate the asset type if you're only looking at the Crypto Ideas Lab. When working with only Crypto Ideas Lab, which is what we're doing, the country of exchange and the asset type filters are irrelevant. But I do wanna point this out in case you are looking at additional strategies, including our Ideas Lab or our Timing Lab. Below, you'll see a display and sort results. This allows you to adjust the number of results that we sort. And under here, show top, this drop down menu, you can show potentially 250 results. That's not going to happen today, folks. I think the most that we're going to get today is 10 results. And the default here is 20. I usually don't adjust this. The top 20 is fine with me as I'm mainly concerned with looking or finding the top rank securities. And if you do make any changes, you would simply hit the apply filters button located to the bottom right. All right, let's go ahead and close that up. You can click also any of these ticker symbols, let me grab this gray horizontal bar back to the far left, just so you can see that navigation. You can click on any of these ticker symbols to review them in more detail. So if I click on the ticker symbol for Energy Web Token, you'll see a new internet tab or page pops up and takes us to the analyzer page for this particular cryptocurrency. In tomorrow's bootcamp lesson, Kristen will review this page in more detail. All right, hopping back to our opportunities tab, the last feature I want to review is our combination feature. So this is that feature that you see here just below the strategies. Currently, it is set to any. Any means any data point present. In this case, the crypto results may include any combinations of the strategies that we select. You may see that all the crypto labs are selected by default. These are all of the crypto labs that we're gonna be talking about today. Crypto Kinetic VQ, Crypto Low Risk Runners, Crypto Momentum and VQ Pairing, and Crypto Momentum Pairing. Now, what if you want the results to match a specific set of strategies? Well, then you can toggle this feature to all and choose your preferred strategies. You're gonna see that we have no results. Unfortunately, given today's crypto market, the all sources combination feature will not be too helpful for us. Let me toggle this back to any and point out a few things here. If you notice under the strategies column, the only cryptocurrency that provided us two matches was Energy Web Token with Crypto Low Risk Runners and Crypto Momentum Pairing. So technically, if I wanted to find, you know, isolate this search to Crypto Low Risk Runners and Momentum Pairing, I can. But if you take a look, these other cryptocurrencies did not match any other strategies. So again, the all sources combination is not gonna help us too much, but let me just show you how it works. So let's just say, and I'm gonna click this little blue drop down triangle to the left of Crypto Ideas Lab that expands the lab. Let's say we just wanted to isolate it to, I believe it was these two. All right, crypto low risk runners and crypto momentum pairing. And I then adjust the sources combination to all, and we should just get that one result, right? 
there it is, Energy Web Token. So this is just kind of showing you what that feature does. You're telling the tool that I want all of the results to match those selected strategies I have here. All right, let me go back and select all of them and we'll change this to any again. Now, even if the crypto markets were healthy, please remember that each Crypto Ideas Lab has specific criteria and most of them won't overlap with the other crypto strategies. We do see here that we could potentially have a low risk runners and a crypto momentum pairing, but it's, it's really, um, you're not gonna see all results matching all of these particular strategies. Again, we're gonna go into more detail on how the securities are ranked. However, when a security qualifies for more than one strategy, it's likely to perform better and it's ranked higher. For this reason, Energy Web Token is ranked number one. As you can see, it has two matching strategies. Now, many of our members ask, how do I use opportunities? And I, it's super important that you understand how to use this feature. You can utilize opportunities to help you find a new crypto pick based on our various strategies. We run our Crypto by Tradesmith filter, which we're gonna go over here in a moment. The individual criteria for each strategy and rank the results based on the securities that match more than one strategy. We have found that when a security qualifies for more than one strategy, they are likely to perform better and ranked higher. So you can think of this like an odds enhancer. I understand this may not be the case in today's crypto market outlook. However, when the crypto markets are healthy, we're gonna see more results. Currently, Crypto Ideas Lab is producing 10 potential results for us. If one of your crypto positions hits the health indicator red zone or any other exit strategy that you're following, you can come here and review the top ranked cryptos as a potential replacement. The intent of the opportunities feature was not to help you build whole portfolios. We're gonna use the pure quant tool to create a portfolio according to our strategies. The pure quant tool will ensure that the portfolio is diversified and equal risk position size. More on this when we get to the pure quant tool. The opportunity results may also change daily and that's something that tends to scare folks. If you find a crypto replacement based on the information provided here within the opportunities tab, and then you come back the next day or the following week and you see it's no longer on the list or it's shifted lower in rank, that doesn't mean you gotta go out and close the trade, all right? Follow your exit strategy. Now the intended exit strategy for the Crypto Ideas Lab is the health indicator. And the back testing that I'm going to show you is pertaining to the use of the health indicator as the exit strategy. Okay, so now I wanna take a look at our Crypto Ideas Lab strategies and the filters behind them. So we're gonna go back to our slides. One moment, please. And I wanna start with our Crypto by Tradesmith filter. So all of the Crypto Ideas Lab strategies share this initial filter. All of the cryptos that we see within opportunities are gonna be in the green zone. The cryptos don't have an average VQ over 80%. The average daily volume in units for a year or for 30 days minimum is at or greater than 100,000 units. The average daily volume in dollars for a year or for 30 days minimum is at or greater than $100,000. And the health indicator entry signal must occur within five VQs from the lowest bottom since it hit the red zone. 
we are also excluding stable coins. So this is the initial filter for all of the cryptocurrencies. After the crypto tradesman filter runs its initial filter, then each strategy has its own criteria. So we're filtering down. Now let's take a look at our first ideas, uh, crypto ideas flashcard, and that is Crypto Kinetic VQ. Tradesmith developed the Kinetic VQ strategy. If, if you have also Ideas Lab, you know that we have a Kinetic VQ strategy for our Ideas Lab. And it was based, it's based on our volatility quotient. When the current VQ is greater than the average VQ and the cryptocurrency is in, a, in an uptrend, it adds extra energy to push those prices higher. The kinetic VQ is going to be our more aggressive strategy. But the specific criteria for the crypto side is that the gain percentage from the current health indicator entry signal must be less than or equal to two times its average VQ. And the current VQ must be at least 20% greater than its average. Now, folks, you don't have to memorize any of this criteria. All of this is working behind the scenes. I'm just showing you what is going into each of these results. Because the volatility is dynamic, it's normal for the current VQ to fluctuate gradually over time. Typically, a rising VQ corresponds with falling prices or a downtrend, and a falling VQ corresponds with rising prices or an uptrend. However, a securities VQ occasionally rises at, or remains elevated even as price is rising. So a higher than usual VQ in healthy securities can be incredibly bullish. Let's check out some crypto kinetic VQ statistics. Of more than 700 trades that triggered the health indicator entry signal, we have 61% winners, the winner to loser ratio was almost five to one, and the average gain for the 150 days held was approximately 95%. For an algorithmic system, 61% winning trades is pretty good. Now, this study and the studies that I'm showing you were conducted in January 2019. All right, let's check out the next lab, which is our crypto low risk runners. And similar to on the equity side, we also have our low risk runners with the ideas lab. But these are cryptos that have recently moved from the yellow zone back into the green zone and they still have some room to run. We call them low risk runners because they have the potential to move considerably higher while posing a smaller amount of risk, right? You're coming in at a lower price point. And there's the specific criteria that we're looking at for the crypto low risk runners. There's two main advantages of entering a position that has just moved from the yellow zone back into the green zone. And this is for equities or cryptos alike. The securities price is still moving within its normal VQ range, and it only has half the downside risk compared to a security that triggered a new health entry signal or went from red to green. So when you enter just above the yellow zone, you're minimizing your risk. The remaining risk is the latest close price minus the health indicator stop loss. That's your risk in that trade. The yellow zone, um, if you're not familiar with the yellow zone, it's a pullback of a little more than halfway between the most recent high close price and the health indicator stop price. When a crypto moves back into the green zone, it can represent an opportunity to invest in a crypto still in an uptrend, but with less risk, right? Because we're coming in at a lower price point. Let's go ahead and check out the statistics for low risk runners. Of more than 1,050 trades, that recently triggered the entry signal, 54% were winners, 
the winner to loser ratio was not as good as our crypto kinetic VQ. However, still not bad at three to one. Let's go ahead and check out the next lab, which is our crypto momentum pairing. The crypto momentum pairing strategy uses underlying price comparisons to find cryptos with extra growth potential. Now the main idea with this strategy and, and also our crypto momentum and VQ pairing strategy is that we're finding cryptos that are trending up in both the USD or US dollar and our Bitcoin pairings. And these coins are going to be stronger than the broad crypto market. So here's our criteria for our crypto momentum pairing. We, the, both the, uh, the USD and the Bitcoin pairings, um, their VQ is going to be at or less than 80%. We want them trending up or sideways for both of these uh, crypto pairings. And you can see with this one, our gain percentage from the current entry signal uh, must be less than or equal to four times its average VQ. Again, all of this is going on behind the scenes. You don't have to memorize any of this. Let's check out the statistics. And I believe that the statistics are the best for these uh, crypto uh, momentum pairings. So let's take a look of more than 1,340 trades that triggered the entry signal, we have 53% winners. The winner to loser ratio was an amazing six to one. And the average gain for the 71 days held was approximately 94%. All right, let's go ahead and finish with our last Crypto Labs flashcard, which piggybacks off of the crypto momentum pairing because it shares the same criteria with an added VQ parameter. The crypto momentum and VQ pairing, again, it's using the same underlying price comparisons to find cryptos with extra growth potential. It's looking at USD and Bitcoin pairings, and it's got this additional VQ filter. So with this, the USD and Bitcoin VQ pairing differences are less than or equal to 5%. So we expect to find stronger coins if the USD pairing for any crypto has a VQ less than or equal to 5% of the Bitcoin pairing for that cryptocurrency. So coins in, a, in the health indicator green zone with a similar VQ in both the USD and Bitcoin pairings have a chance to dramatically outperform the broad crypto market. So let's check out the statistics on, on this one here. Again, the statistics are great here for the crypto momentum and the VQ pairing. Um, and I believe they have the best stats uh, out of all of the crypto labs. Of more than 970 trades that triggered the health indicator entry signal, Six, approximately 63% were winners. The winner to loser ratio, again, six to one. And the average gain for the 85 days held was approximately 122%. Again, these studies were conducted, this back testing was done in January, 2019. I don't have updated studies. I'm waiting for our development team to provide me with performance data for these strategies. And as soon as I have that information, I will definitely be sharing it with you folks. All right, so let's go ahead and put it all together. Remember, we run all the securities through that initial funnel, that crypto tradesmith filter, which is where you, what you see in step one. After we run that crypto by tradesmith filter, each strategy has its own criteria, which we reviewed within our Crypto Ideas Lab flashcards. In step two, qualifying securities are then ranked based on the strategy criteria and also our Tradesmith ranking formula. So we're also sorting securities according to their average VQ. So our analysis determined that securities 
with a higher average VQ have performed better than securities with lower average VQ. So we sort all of these strategies into groups and then we also consider how many of these individual strategies each crypto qualifies for. The more strategies a crypto qualifies for, the better it's likely to perform and the higher it's ranked. If a crypto only matches one strategy, which we saw um, for most of our results, the program will rank the security based on its given strategy. Now, with all that information, now we can create our crypto ideas lab. All right, so let me go back to the website. And before we can build our crypto ideas lab pure quant, we first must create our crypto ideas lab screener with the help of our screener tool. So I'm gonna keep this tab up. I'm just gonna to go to that secondary tab that we had open and we're gonna to go to our screener tool. To go there, we're gonna hit invest at the top navigational header and then select the screener tab below. The screener tool is available to members who hold crypto ideas by Tradesmith, ideas by Tradesmith, Trade360, or Tradesmith Platinum account. Now here I already have it created, so I'm gonna just delete it. Click that blue drop down triangle and hit delete and recreate it with you folks. Okay. We're gonna hit uh, create new screener here at the top. You with me folks? Feel free to follow along. We'll hit create new screener and we can select our filters by choosing, and let me highlight this because sometimes it's hard to see, this manage filters link here at the very top left. So let's go ahead and click that. And here you can adjust your filters or select your filters. Now keep in mind that some of these filters are gonna be based on your subscription level. And let me uncheck all of these filters and some of them of course don't apply as well. Like our fundamentals wouldn't apply to our cryptos, okay? But I'm gonna make this super easy folks. This is all I'm selecting, all right? Is the Tradesmith strategies. I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible. And remember, you don't have to the select any other particular uh, filters. The Tradesmith filter and strategy criteria for each of the labs are already incorporated. So I wouldn't need to select health status green zone as all of the crypto ideas lab strategies are in the green zone. So with that, we're gonna hit save and close. And we just need to set our parameters. So where we see Tradesmith strategies, I'm gonna click anywhere where it says select and we'll choose all of our crypto ideas lab. Again, you can click that blue drop down triangle and you'll see all of them checked or you can review them here at the top of the selection box. I can click anywhere off the menu to make that go away. Then we have to adjust here. First qualified for selected strategies within the last blank calendar days. I'll just enter within the last 30 calendar days. And then we have that sources combination feature again. Now I'm gonna keep this to any, all right? So that we are creating an all crypto ideas lab strategy. Now, instead of hitting run screener, if we hit run screener, most likely we'll just get the same results that we got when we went to the opportunities tab. There were 10 results. We're gonna come here and hit save as new instead. And we'll title it Crypto Ideas Lab. You can add a description if you'd like as well but you don't have to uh, describe your filters because that is retained within the screener tool. Now we'll hit save my search. Now, if I go back, I just wanna show you the filter. Here is our filter that we created. If I click that number one link, it tells you the filters that you have 
selected. So there's no need to add that within the description. Now that our crypto screener has been saved successfully, let's go to the pure quant tool. And you'll see it right there next to its buddy, the screener. So we're gonna hit pure quant within the invest page. And the pure quant tool, you can see I've been playing <laughs> quite a bit within the last uh, few days here, uh, the pure quant tool, just to make sure I gave you the best lesson possible for today. But the pure quant tool is going to help you build a new diversified investment portfolio and it position sizes it according to the same risk percentage in each position. You'll see what I mean once we run our, our pure quant. The pure quant tool is available to members with trade stops, pro or lifetime, crypto by Tradesmith premium or lifetime. Ideas by Tradesmith Premium or Lifetime, Trade360, and uh, Tradesmith Platinum Account. So we're going to start by hitting Build New Pure Quant. And now we are here within step one, choose your sources. And as you can see, there are numerous sources that you can choose from. For the cryptocurrencies, it appears that... Uh, not as many, right? But we still have some sources that we're gonna work with here. So we're gonna go to the very bottom of step one and locate our ideas save search. And here we're going to select our crypto ideas lab. You with me folks? Okay, now we're not done yet. Because if I hit build portfolio now, uh, we are probably just going to get the same results that we got from the opportunities tab or fewer because of the maximized diversification filter in step two, which we'll get to here in a moment. I am also going to include the all cryptocurrencies basket that you see within Tradesmith baskets. We're going to select all cryptocurrencies, which tracks 1,617 US crypto pairs. Okay, so we have two sources. We have our, at the bottom, we have selected our Crypto Ideas Lab, which we just created through the screener tool. And we have also our all cryptocurrencies basket. Let's go to step two. These are the pure quants rules. Now, I don't typically change these rules. So I want my cryptocurrencies to be in the green zone. The average VQ is at or less than 80%. I also want them to be at a positive gain since they triggered the entry signal, right? We don't want any losers. There's no specific volume criteria that is set up for the cryptos. It's just set up more than zero, but uh, feel free to adjust that if you'd like. And here's our maximized diversification, which is an additional filter to help you diversify your holdings. We don't want the assets to move up and down together in the market. So I'm going to retain all of the default settings here in step three. In step three, or in step two, I should say. Now we hop to step three, where we customize the portfolio. So we're going to tell the tool how much we want to invest in this new portfolio and the number of positions. Regarding how much money you want to invest in your new crypto portfolio, please consider the risks associated with the crypto markets. Our crypto market outlook runs the PureQuant algorithm to scan various collections of cryptocurrencies to calculate how many are in the green zone with an average VQ of 80% or less and trading without a loss since the entry signal. It then applies a seven day weighted moving average to all cryptocurrencies basket which is approximately 1,600 US crypto pairs. 
if 20% or more of all cryptocurrencies basket qualifies for the pure quant algorithm and the seven day weighted moving average, the entire crypto market is ready to move higher. As I'm saying this, I probably should be showing it to you. Let me go ahead and duplicate this tab and we'll go to the markets page, crypto, and I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm referring to the all cryptocurrencies basket. You can see only 3.80 or almost 4% of the crypt, all cryptocurrencies basket currently qualify. So we're not even near this 20% threshold, which is displayed by that red line graph that you see here to the right. And if I hover over the health distribution, we have over 81% of the cryptocurrencies that are in the red zone. This is for all the all cryptocurrencies basket, which is tracking approximately 1600 US crypto pairs. Now, according to Forbes, most experts agree that cryptocurrencies should make up no more than 5% of your portfolio. And maybe you go even less if you're more conservative. If we have a portfolio of $100,000 and we only want to invest 5% of our portfolio value, then we would invest 5,000 into our crypto portfolio. So now let's hop back to our pure quant tool. We're here under step three and let's adjust this. I'm going 5,000. By the way, you can also adjust the currency value here. I'm gonna keep it on US dollars and we'll just go with 10 positions. When you're ready, we're gonna hit the build portfolio button just below. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see the pure quant is doing its magic right here. It's going through our sources, our all our crypto ideas lab, and then our crypto basket, running the pure quant algorithms. It's already done that was pretty fast faster than we could do <laughs> so we hit uh, view pure quant and here are our results okay with an investment amount of 5,010 position the tool tells us how many units let me grab my little spotlight how many units to buy so that we are at equal risk parity the portfolio is also diversified so you can see here, we're risking 6.58% of our $5,000 per trade. That doesn't mean that we are investing the same amount of money into each position. Typically those with a higher, much higher VQ, like this one here, with uh, the one at the top of the list, 91%, you can see we would be investing approximately 361 as opposed to one that has a much lower VQ. Right here at about 44%, you can see we'd be investing more money, but we're still at equal risk parity. So we're risking the same percentage of our trading capital per trade. Now here's something that I would like you to consider. When incorporating the Crypto Ideas Lab screener, you may find that few or none of them match the top rank uh, Crypto Ideas Lab results. So you may find that none of these cryptos may match any of the results that we saw here in our crypto opportunities. Now, this is most likely because of you know, we're trying to build a portfolio that's diversified. Since there aren't too many crypto opportunity matches, we shouldn't have difficulty entering these ticker, tickers manually. So when the crypto markets improve, you can potentially obtain 250 crypto opportunities according to our crypto strategies when you use your Crypto Ideas Lab screener. And that may be sufficient as your only source. As you saw, we also included the all cryptocurrencies basket because there were so few crypto opportunity matches to build 
a whole portfolio that was diversified. Let me show you how we can adjust our pure quant parameters for this other approach. So now I'm gonna go back. We're gonna hit build new pure quant and I wanna show you a second approach. If you want uh, some of those top ranked cryptos included within your results. So in step one, we're going to enter the top rank crypto ideas lab opportunities under individual securities. I'm going to enter the top three that I saw within the crypto ideas lab. So just going back here, that's energy web token, Kylan network and tribe governance token. And then you know what I'm going to do is also include two of my newsletter matches. And let's just let's just say that I did my research, okay? I went to the analyzer page and I narrowed it down to these two. Radical or ticker RAD and Lido, Lido, Dow, okay? Um, we're gonna work with these two. So let's hop back to the pure quant tool and we'll enter these tickers. So I'll start with EWT for energy web token. And I'm just gonna work with the USD pair because it's easier to see the, the figures in US dollars. All right, KYL, USD, tribe, USD pair. And then the two from my newsletters, RAD, where are you? There you are. And every time you select, you have to click off the menu to, to go to the next one. And the next one was LDO USD. So it doesn't go away from here. I have to click off the menu. Okay. So just so you know to do that next time. Please remember that you will research again each coin before you add it to the pure quant tool so i'm adding it here because i absolutely want these cryptos included we're also going to here at the top go back to our tradesmith baskets and also select our all cryptocurrencies because we want to build a fully optimized and risk rebalanced portfolio because we have such few ideas lab results and we can't build a portfolio with just these five tickers here. You'll notice by entering the cryptos within the individual security source field, we're telling the tool that we want these tickers included within the pure quant portfolio, regardless of the pure quant rules. Now, remember that these securities will most likely meet the pure quant rules. We just don't know for sure, um, you know, if they would be included with that maximized diversification filter. So we're telling the tool, make it work for us, right? So it's going to include from our all cryptocurrencies basket, those cryptos that will work well with these individual securities that we have selected here. All right. Once we add our sources, we have our individual securities. So we're not using the idea safe search in this approach, the second approach. We've included individual securities, which were taken from the opportunities lab and our all cryptocurrencies basket. Now we're gonna hop to step three. We're not making any changes to step two. We'll keep that the same. And we'll adjust our investment amount, 5,000, the same, everything the same here, 10, and then we'll hit build portfolio. So it's going through its second approach, it's going through our sources, and then it should be applying our filters here shortly, and it's done, boom, that was fast. Okay, so we'll hit view results, and you will notice that the securities that you enter within the individual security source field will display at the top of your results with a number zero. So do you see them right here? 
these are listed. These are the ones that we manually hand typed into the individual securities field. One thing I want to talk about here, because I already can see the uh, you folks scratching your head right now. Okay, so we have our our ten total, right? The five that we hand typed, and then the five that the tool added according to our all cryptocurrencies basket. Please remember that the PureQuant tool and the Opportunities tab rank and sort your results differently. The Opportunities tab is going to help you find the top performing securities according to the PureQuant algorithms and their various strategy criteria. However, it doesn't build portfolios for us. The PureQuant tool will help you take those top ranked securities and build a diversified and position size portfolio, right? According to equal risk parity, we're risking again the same percentage of our trading capital per trade. In this case, it's a little bit, it's a lower, right? 4.86. The PureQuant tool, when sorting, it considers the days since the health entry signal was triggered and the securities average volatility quotient. The securities that most recently triggered the entry signal will be sorted to the top. Now it is putting our individual securities here at the top. All right, so any ones that you add under the individual securities will automatically go to the top of the list. But the reason why the PureQuant tool is considering the days since the health entry signal and its average VQ is that, you know, we found that those securities with a higher average VQ perform better than stocks with a lower average VQ. Now, our development team back tested um, the sorting and ranking formulas to develop individual picks for the opportunities. However, our analysis wasn't conducted for whole portfolios. So our team is planning on researching to determine if the opportunities ranking algorithm should also be implemented in the pure quant ranking. But so far they're, they're sorted differently, okay? And I want you to keep in mind the purpose of each of these tools and features. The opportunities tab intended to find crypto picks, the top rank according to the pure quant algorithm, and each of the criteria, right? With the idea being that those cryptos that match multiple strategies will be ranked to the top. The PureQuant tool builds a whole portfolio that's diversified and position size based on equal risk parity. And it will sort the positions according to um, the days since entry signal and the securities average VQ. Okay, that is a wrap. <laughs> With five minutes to spare, let's go ahead and recap here. So today we reviewed the Crypto Ideas Lab and the criteria behind each strategy. The Opportunities tab, uh, again, aims to help you find the best individual opportunities that you can add to your portfolio. They can be uh, replacements to positions that were perhaps stopped out. If we go back to our crypto market outlook, you know, I'm not surprised that we couldn't find too many cryptocurrencies, but we were still able to build a portfolio. And these uh, cryptocurrencies met our conservative indicators and algorithms. Of all the US cryptocurrencies that we are tracking, we can see here approximately 81% of them are in the red zone. And only about 4% are pure quant qualified. Our threshold is 20%, so we're not nearly close, but we still were able to find opportunities. We reviewed how to create a Crypto Ideas Lab screener very simply with the screener tool. And I showed you two different approaches to creating your pure quant crypto portfolio. In the first approach, 
Let me go back here so it might be better to visualize this. In our first approach, we incorporated our ideas, our crypto ideas lab, and our all cryptocurrencies basket to build a fully optimized and risk rebalanced portfolio. We found though that our results didn't include uh, any of our crypto opportunities and perhaps maybe we want those included. So what we did in our second approach is we entered the cryptocurrencies that we researched and we, we want to add to our portfolio. We did not include our crypto ideas lab in this second scenario. So we added our, it was a five that we added today here. And then we also included all cryptocurrencies. We wanted to find additional crypto assets that would work well with the individual securities we listed below. I hope that you now have a better idea of how to creatively use our various tools across your Tradesmith Finance platform. Let me go ahead and pull up our contact us. So those of you who have to get going can go. Again, we have our live Q&A at the end, so stick around if you can. One moment. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our dedicated customer success team. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Kristen Magents, your product education specialist, will review the search for ticker feature and how you can research new potential trades. Uh, this Thursday, for my Platinum members, I am hosting a webinar ahead of our Quantum Edge Pro campaign. Quantum Edge Pro will be managed by editor Jason Bodner, new to the Tradesmith family. Before joining Tradesmith, Jason spent nearly 20 years on Wall Street, so he's going to discuss his Quantum Edge Pro newsletter and how it detects early signals when institutions get in and out of giant trades. So we're looking at where big money is, is going in and out of. And this newsletter uh, will be included if you have a Platinum subscription. Folks, thanks again for joining us and letting us be a part of your educational journey. Until next time, bye. Alrighty, folks, back with you. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I guess I need to turn on my webcam. <laughs> I'm like, I just see clouds. <laughs> just see the clouds. Happy clouds. Happy clouds. Some happy clouds. All right. <laughs> How was that, folks? I hope it wasn't too confusing. Uh, we covered some some advanced uh, some advanced concepts features, but uh, I think I think you got it. I think you got it, folks. Yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> you did good because we believe it or not, we literally had no questions except uh, Marianne just asked if it's recorded. So yes, it is recorded, Marianne. And if you registered, you'll get a copy tomorrow, and then it'll be loaded in the help menu tomorrow as well. But no questions. <laughs> so that means one, either it was so confusing that we're all still shaking our heads or two the lesson was so great that there are no questions and uh, i don't know about that i mean i'm yeah, good I but i don't know if i'm that good <laughs> <laughs> you are so, don't be shy folks don't be shy this is our opportunity to ask any questions okay no question is a dumb question um some of you are more advanced some of you are newbies i know I have some newbies that, that really like to take the challenge and jump into these intermediate lessons. And yeah. it might be a little bit, you know, confusing for newbies, but that's what we're here for. Okay. I encourage any and all questions. I just may yeah. not be able to answer them all. <laughs> yeah, it could be anything. Exactly. Um, and Marianne, you might be right. She said that maybe it's because the market markets are just horrible and people their spirits may, you know, not be the best when the markets are down. Mm -hmm. So that's a good, yeah. yeah. But we did get a question from John. So John okay. said each strategy quotes its success statistics based on January 2019 
How did the overall crypto perform in January 2019? 63% uh, winners is good in a bad market, but not so good in a good market. So what was the market like in 2019? I wish I can go back and search like we can with our market outlook. Don't quote me to that because I'm not 100% sure. But I believe prior to our COVID yeah. crash, the markets were well, performing well. And I believe that would have been the case for the crypto markets as well. Yeah, um, I think for crypto, it was the best in 2018. That's where's our mm -hmm. highest peak in 2018. That's what I remember when but I was- actually. Yeah, good call. We can actually go back here. Let me, what we can see, let me hop back to the crypto markets. We can see it right here. Okay. So the height, uh, let me go back. Ah, it just lets me go one year. I know. Dang. Eventually what we're going to do uh, with this crypto market outlook is, is match more of what we see here with our crypto market outlook. And if you see here under the equity side of the house, I can actually go back in time. So let's, well, let's just use that 2019 January. Let's go back and see what the markets were like. Whoa, do I have that right? January 2019, huh? Maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, so I will have to do some research. That's a great question. I'm interested to know exactly uh, what the markets were like, John, at that time. It seems like the cryptos have been pretty correlated with the stock market, so they're not doing so well. Anytime the Fed announces or threatens to raise uh, rates, the cryptos are also shaky. So now I'm not so sure. I'll double check and uh, I'll get back with you, John, on that. Yeah. I was trying to find some stuff too. I couldn't see anything. Uh, let's see. Oh, where did my little chat box go? Okay. Um, mate, I think that's your name. Mate, M-A-I-G-H-T. Um, I'm not sure if we have the question to this, but will we need um, decentralized coins to stop the banking cartels monopoly of the world's wealth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... I am definitely not a crypto expert, so I can't really speak on on that, uh, mate. That's a great question. You know, um, what do, what do you all say, folks, on that? Anyone here <laughs> who is uh, crypto savvy? Will yeah. we need decentralized coins to stop banking cartels' monopoly of the world's wealth? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps we yeah. will. Um, and I, I don't know you know, how much longer it'll all be decentralized with regulations coming, right? The government coming and regulating. <laughs> so I yeah. don't know what the future holds for that. Um. <laughs> exactly. Um, James has one, and I'm not sure if you have any book before, I, but James wants to know, can you, how does he go back and modify an established basket for more, included tokens so your baskets are all included under if you go to the more drop down page and go to baskets and you'll see all cryptocurrencies but this is part of this is under tradesmith basket so you won't be able to edit this all cryptocurrencies basket along with you'll see there's other cryptocurrency baskets you have binance Binance US, Coinbase, Poloniex, but you can include your own basket. So you can click add basket and then you can add all of the cryptocurrencies that, that you want to continually follow and perhaps add um, as sources to our various tools like our screener tool or pure quant tool. You can do that, but you'd have to create your own basket. And uh, probably an easy way to do that is probably from the screener tool. So when you go to um, invest screener, create new screener, we can start by, um, actually, let's go back here. Let's run our crypto ideas lab. And you can start using these if you want. 
here's our, our nine results. Now we have nine results. You can save these. I'm selecting the top selection box, and then at the bottom, you can create a new basket. So that might help you get going, and then you can always add to it, or you can start fresh and just create a brand new basket from your baskets page. Perfect. Great question. <laughs> that was, yeah, perfect. Um, and James, yeah, you might be right about the cartel monopoly. It's above our pay grade. <laughs> Above yeah. all of our pay grade. <laughs> um, mate, and I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing, how would you pronounce that name? M A I G H T. Mate or? Mate. Mate, yeah. All right. Mate, um, is there a strategy to buy VI VIX versus SPY? I'm trying to think here if we even use the VIX in any strategy. So. We do consider the VIX, but um, that's for our. Um, we're not really considering it for any strategies. Um, and this is kind of going off tar topic, but I think for some of our market signals, we look at the VIX and how it moves in relation. But um, but to answer your question yeah. in a very roundabout, uh, rambling way, no, mate. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> if you yeah. have a specific question, um, uh, or any more details that you want to share, uh, you can email us and we can go more. I can get in contact with our research team if you have any specific ideas on that. Yeah, because I know there's a link between S&P 500 and VIX, but I, we have our own volatility. That's what, yeah, we don't have really anything on the VIX. Mm -hmm. I've heard it once, one time, like we can email, but I don't know how we play into that. But all right, Brooke, any, do you have any questions? Um, yes, yeah, so earlier Mate did uh, send in a, a question about adding coins to your portfolio. Um, mm -hmm. And they asked about FedNow coin and JPM coin. Where would you get those to add to your portfolio? And I believe we've went over like coinwatch.com before to show like the exchanges. So I thought that might be a good thing to hit. Yeah, that's a good, uh, good question. So stand by Brooke for the name of the coin. Uh, or ticker. Let me find my bookmark here for uh, crypto related. Um, I go to Coin Checkup, but there's a ton of different sites that you can go to, folks. Yeah. Um, I like Gecko, whatever that one is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you said FedCoin? Um, FedNowCoin or JPM Coin? So when I type in Fed, this is what comes up. Um, I don't see Fed now. I see Fedora coin. <laughs> uh, what was the other one? JPM coin. Okay, there's the JP uh, Morgan. We'll go to that one. Come on, JPM. So where do we trade JP Morgan Chase? Okay, so from the search, you have several different tabs here that are pretty neat that you can go through. But if you go to markets, it should pull up a complete list of exchanges of where to buy. So complete list of JP Morgan Chase tokenized stock exchange and JP Morgan tokenized stock markets where you can buy. So, okay, where is it? Okay, I guess this is where we must consult the great oracle, Google, and see where we can buy these. Um, is this just maybe through JP Morgan? I don't know. To be honest with you, I'm not yeah. familiar with these, so I would have to, you know, where to buy and do some research that way. Uh, tokenization, Chase Merchant Services through Chase. I imagine through uh, Chase. Yeah, because uh, I have Chase. I thought the Fed, the Fed now was like a, it's like an instant payment service that they're going to start use. The federal like banks are going to use or something. I just, I have Chase, so mm -hmm. I, I remember hearing about that. Got it. Yeah, I would have to do some research, but I would imagine through Chase, J.P. Morgan. Mm -hmm. And I have not heard of the other uh, token, FedNow. 
Mm -mm. Maybe he's referring to that payment service thing that Fed now service um, yeah. will help enable financial institutions to deliver end to end faster payment services to customers. Like it's supposed to be better than like an ACH basically. Yeah, Coindesk is a really good um, resource site as well. They have a lot of uh, news related articles. Here's one on Federal, Res Federal Reserve's FedNow real time payments set for mid 2023 debut. I'll put this article here in our chat. And then if anyone's interested, you can take a look. And then I'll I'll put it in the Q&A better for everyone if you want to look at that. Perfect. Do you have anything else, Brooke? I'm looking through them really quick. Yeah, we did get another one from Mark. Um, he's asking if Tradesmith is going to consider incorporating some of the following crypto ETFs like trust mm -hmm. such as GBTC or GDLC. That's a good question, Mark. So I can inquire with our product director. I know that there have been talks about um, including crypto options. Uh, I have not heard about the ETFs, but um, I will inquire and then I will let you know, Mark. So expect an email from me. I'll look into it. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I don't have anything else. Oh, so wait, just John just came in. Down. We have yeah. Mark. Yeah, Mark. And then I had someone else that I, oh, someone about the market January 2019 oh. crypto markets, what they were, what state they were in. Yeah. Uh, Marina, so, on your list as well, can you add mate for the um, crypto ETFs and trust? And then the 2018 question was from John. Oh, I thought Mark was the crypto ETFs. Okay, so that's Mate. And then, did Mark have a question? Mark want, have... Yeah, Mark asked that question, but Mate just replied in and said, count me in on that one too. Oh, so. gotcha. Okay, <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah. Crypto, piggyback, piggyback crypto ETFs. Got it. Very good. Okay, I think that's yeah. all we've got today, folks. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We don't have any other lingering questions, do we? Ladies, um, I, did we answer John's? Where can can you show him where 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 can he find more detailed definitions on the each each crypto strategy? Like for example, oh. the strategies for stocks that are summarized in page three and four of the reports. With our in our crypto script, I've included um, what the criteria is for each of the uh, strategies. Is that what you're referring to? I have all of the criteria that, that we showcase for each of the strategies. Are you asking more specific details on the uh, research studies? So I think it's, um, you know how we have the strategies for stocks? He wants how they're summarized. Um, is, the, is that the same data available for crypto? The same I strategies? see. So I don't know if we've written uh, recently, like how Justin Brill did for our Ideas Lab. I don't believe we have something similar for the Crypto Lab. I can do some digging. If I had something, I most likely would have included it in our script. But I don't have, I want to include the most up-to-date information. And um, the January two. Uh, 2019 is the most current info that I have regarding our research on the strategies. But the criteria is what I put together according to what the engineers sent me as far as the um, criteria. And, um, you know, it's a lot of translating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The engineer talk. Any engineers <laughs> in the house? I love you. I love all engineers. <laughs> yeah, <just> smart. <laughs> Too smart for your own good. Yeah, <laughs> it makes you dumb reading their emails. I know. <laughs> I've read them like twenty times. <laughs> Too smart for your own good, engineers. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> folks, I appreciate your time. Um, if there's anything that we missed or you think of something, just shoot us an email. You can put it to my attention. Uh, attention to Marina, and um, 
our CS can send it my way and I can um, follow up with our product director or our development team for any uh, questions I was not able to answer. And expect an email from those of you that I will follow up with. Alrighty. Thank you, ladies. I hope yeah. you have a great rest of your week. Take Bye, it everyone. easy. Bye, everyone. All right. We'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.